Welcome to the Writing Station. Here you will find writing activities for multiple skills of writing from pre-K to second grade. You will need to download the activity sheet for this lesson. I have placed the link in the description box. You will also need crayons, pencils, glue stick, and scissors. Have fun learning. Just a quick note, parents. If your students, if you and your students enjoy the activities found in this channel, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel so that we can get the credit for our hard work. Thank you. Enjoy the lesson. Okay, boys and girls, we're ready to get started today with our activity. We're going to read and match. We're going to read and match the picture to the sentence. We're also, boys and girls, are going to write the sentence because we've learned about our lines. We know that the first line is our skyline. The second line is our plain line. The third line is our grass line. And the last line is our worm line. And we have learned how to position our letters on the grid. So let's get started. Our first sentence, this is my book. Your turn. This is my book. Very good, boys and girls. You remember the cue. The cue is, this is my book. That tells you to read after me. Very good. Now we're going to write the story. This, the sentence, this is my book. The sight words are this is and my. Those three are sight words. The one we're featuring today is my. Okay, this uppercase T. This is my. And the Y is a hanging letter. This is my book. And boys and girls, we're using all the strategies that we've learned about our lines on the grid. Our plain line letters, which is my, M-Y, are plain line letters. They are formed underneath the plain line. So is I-S, is, and the two O's. The T is the uppercase letter. It's on the skyline line. Okay, this is my book. Your turn. This is my book. Next, we're going to take a look at the pictures at the bottom of your paper. We have dad reading to his son. We have a wig. We have a book. We have a pencil. And we have eyes. They look like googly eyes, don't they, boys and girls? Okay, so we're going to cut out our pictures, and then we're going to look for the book. We're going to paste the book in the first box because the sentence is about the book. And if you've been writing with me for some time, the busy teacher, that's me, you know that... <coughs> Excuse me. I like to cut out my pictures and have them ready. I don't like to go back and cut and cut and cut. I like to cut them all out so I have them ready when I after I write my sentence. This is my book. Where's the book? Can you find the book, boys and girls? Absolutely you can. Now we need our glue our glue stick. Did you hear about what happened to my glue stick? Well, I left the glue stick out by mistake. I left the top off. And guess what happened? Yep, it got hard. A little hard. It's softening up a little now. Okay, there you go. Our next sentence is... My eyes are blue. 
My eyes are blue. Your turn. My eyes are blue. Okay, let's write that sentence. My eyes are blue. B-L-U-E, blue. My eyes are blue. Your turn. My eyes are blue. How many words are in this sentence? One, two, three, four. Four words are in this sentence. My eyes are blue. How many words are in this sentence? This is my book. One, two, three, four. Four words are in the sentence. This is my book. Now we have to look for the eyes. Can you find the eyes? Okay, and you're going to need your glue stick. Swirl and glue. There you go. Put your picture there. And boys and girls, remember when we color the picture, the eyes, what color do we need to color the eyes? Blue. Because in our sentence, we said that my eyes are blue. So we must make sure we color the eyes blue. Okay, the next sentence is, he has my pencil. Your turn. He has my pencil. We're going to start our sentence with the uppercase letter he, uppercase letter H. He has my pencil. And what goes at the end of the sentence? A period. Exactly. He has my pencil. Your turn. He has my pencil. Let's count the words. One, two, three, four. Okay, four words and he has my pencil. Now you need your glue stick. Swirl. And we're going to find our pencil. You see how easy it is, boys and girls, when you have already have your um your pictures cut out all at once. You don't have to go back and keep cutting. It's called being organized. Okay. Our next sentence. My dad reads to me. Your turn. My dad reads to me. Very good, boys and girls. And I hope you all are getting um, a story read to you at night. It's so much fun. My dad, D-A-D, reads to me. My dad reads to me. Your turn. My dad reads to me. Can you find the picture of dad reading to his child? I see. He's reading to his little boy. There it is. Okay. Very good. We're doing great, boys and girls. We're learning our sight words. We're learning to read our sight words as we learn them. Okay, the next one. And our last sentence says, My wig is wet. Your turn. My wig is wet. And we're going to write, My wig is is wet. P 
period at the end. And look, boys and girls, we have two hanging letters or two worm line letters, Y and G. Very good. Okay, let's read it. My wig is wet. Your turn. My wig is wet. Okay. Blue stick. Swirl. Cover your glue and paste. Very nice. Boys and girls, we did it. Take a look. This is my book. My eyes are blue. Remember, we have to color the eyes blue because we told the reader that they're blue. He has my pencil. My dad reads to me. My wig is wet. Very good, boys and girls. Now, time to do what? Color the pictures. Exactly. So I'm going to color my pictures. I'm, but first, I'm going to fast forward the video and I'll be right back. Okay, boys and girls, we're done. Take a look. I know yours is just as good. Boys and girls, you did a fantastic job. See you next time.